Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Redhead Redemption. So ever since Destiny 2 came out uh, last week, I have been playing the absolute shit ton out of it. I thought I would just give a little bit of a review so far. I think a lot of people have judged it based on the last game. And uh, this is really a massively improved game. So I thought I'd give my two cents, especially because I have seen some other videos of people sort of saying it's like not good and stuff and that's just really not the case it is fucking amazing so first i want to talk a little bit about the combat it is really fluid and i don't think the combat was ever really an issue in the last game either but i just want to like fangirl out a little bit for, at the moment everything feels really just better i just that's a <laughs> that's maybe not the most eloquent way to put it but things just feel more fluid the guns feel really unique and interesting they handle really well the recoil feels natural and the melee abilities, as you just saw, are badass. I mean, they really, they really feel a lot better than the last game. Where in the last game, the melee abilities, like, they weren't nearly as powerful. But, like, now in this game, if you can, like, smack something in the face, they're probably going down. Finally, we have our supers, which are just, like... They feel so powerful, like, get out of the way. I do main hunter, and uh, I don't really like gunslinger. I've never really liked gunslinger. I don't know why, I just really like cool melee abilities. So that's what they've done with a lot of the supers, is giving you some pretty amazing melee abilities. And of course there's uh, lots more different types of guns, and, and that's something I really enjoy, is they all feel very different. Like, even even differences among the auto rifles. Like, I some, some auto rifles I'll pick up and I'll be like, oh, this is trash, and then another auto rifle I'll be like, oh, this is awesome. They have changed uh, the weapon setup from pi primary special heavy to, as you can see, uh, kinetic energy and power. Which has been, like, kind of controversial, but honestly, I really like it. In Destiny 1, I didn't feel like I needed to use special all that much. But in this game, if you come across an enemy with a shield, like this guy, uh, it's, it behooves you to use um, a, an energy weapon as opposed to a primary weapon. So it gives more purpose to that secondary slot. And uh, it seems to me that energy ammo slash secondary ammo comes a lot more often than it did in the last game. So I really like having a slot that I use just as much as my primary that I can switch off between. It allows me to sort of like use my handgun when I want precision and then like switch over to something that can just like destroy like massive enemies like pretty quickly like that. The next improvement over Destiny that I really enjoy this game is I, I greatly like how they set up the new skill trees. In the last game, they were a little bit like, I don't know, like they're just a little bit of a clusterfuck and switching between your spec for PvP versus PvE was like a little bit annoying So they've kind of condensed stuff that is more targeted like you either have this side or this side and that unlocks different abilities in between So certain sides can have you know a good pluses and minuses for PvP versus PvE and how you play So you don't have to keep going into your specs and just like constantly changing it around all the time also I did beat the main story already uh, and for some reason, the storyline seems to be getting a lot of flack, but I thought it was like I thought it was a really good campaign for a game like this. I mean, you you know, this is not a a story based RPG game, so this really isn't the type of game that you play to be like super immersed in a storyline. However, I thought the story was at least you know cohesive and interesting. The cinematics were high quality. It wasn't too long because honestly. In a game like this where it's more about like shooting and looting and PvP and stuff, I really don't want a super long campaign because then it's just like that much more of a campaign I'm gonna have to go through for my alt characters. And yeah, the story was easy. That is a critique that people have said is like, oh, the storyline is pretty easy. And it definitely was. However, the game itself is definitely, you know, not easy. Uh, there are lots of challenging modes in PvP and PvE. Um, and, and sort of nightfall versions of missions and strikes. The strikes themselves are a massive improvement over uh, the old Destiny, where in the old Destiny the strikes were pretty much like a, like an, a, any mission. They, they, did, they weren't typically that unique, um, but in this game they're extremely well designed and, and, and different. See, because in Destiny 2 we have this new edition called Adventures, and all of these little adventures in this little open map are pretty much kind of like how the missions were in the old Destiny. Like, they're cute, and they have some sort of, like, objective. You gotta run around the map and, and kill stuff, but, um, but they feel kind of like how the, the missions in, uh, in Destiny felt, while the strikes feel like a true, you know, PvE experience. 
So based on how well the missions and strikes are already designed in this game, I have like really high hopes for how cool the raid's gonna be when that comes out. What's very cool about the way they design leveling in this game is it's it's not a grinding game. It's not a, it's not an MMO where it, you know you're gonna take you know three months to get to the top level. I got to level twenty in the first couple days without even playing that much. So it really felt nice to just like get through the content fairly quickly. And the entire time that I was playing the story and leveling up, I always felt powerful. I always felt like I was getting good gear and um, I wasn't like stuck with like crappy gear or something like that. It seemed pretty well balanced. It's a get to max level so that you can do all the rest of the cool and really challenging stuff. Like that's, that's what this game's about. A big thing I want to talk about that I really, really enjoy about this game is how cool the zones are and how much there is to do overall. I mean, the zones are just so much more unique. I felt like in uh, in the old Destiny that the patrolling and zones were kind of barren and it didn't feel that much different to be on Mars versus to be on the moon in the old game except that it was like a different color palette. Whereas in this game, not only are the zones just gorgeous and unique and and it's just the art team has gone crazy on them, not to mention all the graphical updates, but there's so many little like nooks and crannies to explore and they actually give you like great rewards for exploring. But anyway, you could really just spend hours just running around the semi-open world. It's not, you know, you still got to go to different planets, but it's open world within these maps. On this on this map here, I could go to this public event, which will usually give me pretty good loot and rep. I could do an adventure that'll give me loot and rep, or I could go find these little chests here, I think that reset every week and they reward loot and rep. And if you build up a lot of rep with each planet sort of main NPC, they reward you legendary Ingram's purple gear at every rep level, which is really, really cool and rewarding. It's actually fun to sort of grind for rep this time, but they also have a new addition that I thought was really, really interesting called these lost sectors, which I also think um, reset every week, but it's these sort of little archway things. And these lost sectors are sort of like cool little exploration, I don't know, mini dungeons is the way you could refer to them, that have uh, a big boss at the end. And every week that you beat the boss, he'll drop, you know, a chest containing chances for even, I think, exotic ingrams up to. I'll just do this lost sector. They're built to be these like so, these cool little like, I, like I said, mini dungeons caverns they all look different they're all unique they're all really well designed so here's our big big boss for this little lost sector so once i kill this boss it'll unlock this little chest that can be opened once a week and there he goes super dead dead af <laughs> right and then i can loot this little chest and boom rep and gear so another thing that a lot of gamers don't really care about that much, but are, it's really important to me and is a big reason why I won't play a lot of games out there is cosmetics. I love it when my character can look badass. I want to play fucking fashion show in all my games, okay? I have boobs. I don't know what to tell you. It's just fun. And Destiny 2 has really delivered so far on the cosmetics. And I know they're probably going to deliver even more so in the, you know, years to come. Right here, look at this hunter set. Yes, it is kind of like in the microtransaction store, sort of. But you get a bright engram, which has a chance to give you one of these for free every time you uh, level up. And you can get all kinds of stuff in these bright engrams, which you can either buy or earn. Um, including like really unique emotes. My favorite being the taunt dance, which I really need to get because I swear I do this in the gym all the time. <laughs> Even the, the ships look really, really cool. They look a lot more unique than the other Destiny. This time it looks like they actually tried to create pretty diverse models. Um, and then on top of that, everything can have a shader. Your gun can have a shader. Like, it's so much more customizable than the last game. I can go to my pulse rifle and I can make it whatever colors I want to. I think that's really, really fun, really cool way to express yourself. A lot of people don't care about this, but I think it's pretty special. Yeah, you have to either earn shaders or get them from the Bright Ingram store, but you know what? When it comes to microtransactions, I, as long as they're just cosmetic, I really don't have a problem with games doing that. I mean, gosh, have you seen how much money people make off of like shitty mobile games? Like, There's no reason why you can't have it in big awesome games like this. <laughs> the only downside about the character customization is it literally is the exact same character 
customization editor as it was in the last game i was really hoping they'd let you sort of like move the nose around or do special things like that but no it's it's pretty straightforward there's enough options to make you feel special but not enough that you'll ever be that differentiated so the next thing i want to talk about is the pvp i i'm happy with it for some reason i think i'm better at it in this game than i was in the other game i can't really figure out why <laughs> But um, I really like how they've just separated it to quick play and competitive, unlike the last game where there was like five different match types. And uh, it was kind of annoying because if you wanted to play a certain match type that wasn't as popular, then like you'd be in the queue forever. Now it's just randomized match types and they've added a lot of new game modes that I think are really fun and unique, as well as bringing back some of the more popular ones like Clash and Control. The maps in PvP are also really cool and beautiful. Uh, I'm a sucker for graphics, so I, I really like playing it in this game. I never really like stuff that's like too military-y. I love the fantasy aspect, so this is definitely a shooter I can get into, and maybe even like, I don't know, your girlfriend or whatever can get it into if you would like her to. Wow, you're an idiot. <laughs> Let me just stand there while this bitch unloads her handgun into the side of my head. So to finish off, there's really only like one thing that I that I hate. There's other little things like I wish the shaders were just unlockable and, and I do wish there were more collectibles like there were in the last game where we had, you know, dead ghosts to find all over the world. But they did make up for that in some other cool exploration aspects. But other than that, there's only one thing that I'm like, I hate it so much. Like I really hope they change this. If you press the start button, you know, you get your normal inventory screen, your clan, uh, your character, settings. But then if you want to see where your friends are online and stuff, you have to go to your, like, map, this, the big P, this, this big but button, and go to your roster there. And I'm just like, why isn't the roster on this? You screen like it's so annoying because I'll go to this screen trying to go find my friends and be like nope You got to press this other button and it's just confusing for my muscle memory, and I hate it <laughs> Finally some hopes for the future is I just want a lot more DLC like a lot I hope they don't just do three I want like more and big and awesome DLCs and I want them to bring like the some kind of like completionist activities I really loved the record books in the last game and I did do the Age of Triumph book Which is why I have this special little emblem over here. This is for getting the Age of Triumph in Destiny 1 so I really like stuff like that, so I can't wait for them to bring back like, record books. If they do, I think they will. I don't know, but I really like that, and I want to see that stuff again. So yeah, guys, uh, expect a lot more Destiny 2 videos. I know some of you just kind of follow me for porn stories or story time stuff, but I am a gamer. I want a gaming channel. I like it a lot. I'm probably going to start doing some sort of like just gameplay videos and telling little stories here and there. Uh... So if you guys have stuff that you'd like to see, either montages or full run-throughs of stuff, I'm probably going to make a lot more videos just based on Destiny 2 and occasionally play some other games in between. But I think this is going to be my main game for a while, you guys. I really love it. <laughs> so let me know what more stuff you guys want to see. I mean, if you would just be happy with me making a video every now and then and me playing a couple PvP matches and fucking yelling at the screen, just let me know because I'm good as fuck at that stuff. And keep in mind, I stream all the time. I stream a lot of this, so go ahead and follow me on twitch.tv slash redheadredemption page. It's also in the description because I'm live there all the time playing this game and interacting with people a lot. So if you want to join my clan, we're at, uh, we've got like, what, 31 something members or whatever. Just feel free to message me on PSN if you want to be in the clan. There's only 100 spots, and we're already at 30, so if that's something you're interested in, and hopefully you're a fairly good player, because we will be pretty serious about raiding and stuff, then yeah, let me know. Anyway, I love you guys so much, and thank you for listening to my motherfucking Destiny 2 review face today. Mwah! Bye!